when I first came to RITM, research wasn't really my thing back then. But having been able to participate in a research workshop hosted by the DOSC PCHRD and having met some well-known researchers inspired me to do research. I've been doing a lot of readings on journals, particularly that of for blood safety, and I've been exploring how to implement these in the Philippines. Well, one of the things that I'm proud of under the Translation Transmissible Infections was one of our first publications, which is that of the validation of non-reactive blood units in the Philippines. So we were able to present this as a poster presentation during the 2016 International Society for Blood Transfusion International Congress held at Dubai, and we were also able to publish it in a local journal under the Philippine Journal of Pathology. So one of the findings here was that that, as an additional layer of safety, is a crucial thing to be implemented in the Philippines. So upon publication, we were able to advocate or rather translate this into a policy which will be able to aid the Philippine blood program in improving its blood safety. Research still has a long way to go in the Philippines, particularly that of educating the common people. But through education, we can give them the knowledge on how we could better prevent and treat these diseases in the future. RITM being a leader in infectious diseases, I can see that this research community in RITM will inspire other researchers to do the same, which will improve the quality of life for all the Filipinos. Research will not always be a walk in the park, and challenges are really a big part of conducting research. So when we do research and we encounter these challenges, we have to go back to our first objective and why we came to do research in the first place. This level of commitment that we would be doing would be beneficial to the country and eventually we will improve the progress of health in the Philippines.